Let's talk about these. These buckles on a shooting coat. When you buy a coat for high power rifle competition, you get these buckles and it seems obvious or at least intuitive that you should be buckling these things. But which ones do you buckle? Do you buckle all of them, some of them, none of them? Well, I don't know if I have the answers to that, but what I can show you is how I do it. Let's start with standing. For the standing stage, I buckle every single buckle on the coat. And when I get in the position, I get to my firing point, and right before preparation period starts, I'll start with this buckle, second one from the top, and I'll work my way down. And then finally, I'll do the top one. And sometimes I've noticed this buckle gets a little bit loose from the previous time that I shot in the, uh, in the other positions. So I'll sometimes have to tighten that up a little bit. But with all the buckles buckled, now I'm ready to shoot standing. Now with the coat all completely buckled, I now have a snug fit across my shoulders, which is what I want. I want that snug fit, and I also want the coat to be tight further down because when I put my arm down against my torso, I want this rubber pad on my elbow to begin contact with this rubber pad down here. And if this isn't tightened, if the buckles down here aren't tightened, this is gonna slide over, and I don't want that. I want this to stay put in one position. So with standing, all the buckles are done up. For the sitting stage, it's a different story. In standing, I had all the buckles buckled because I wanted the entire coat tied up against my torso. With sitting, it's different. In sitting, all I'm interested in is a snug fit across my shoulders because that's where everything is, all the important stuff is going on. So I want the snug fit across my shoulders so I'll buckle the very top buckle, and I won't even bother with any of the other ones. With the top buckle buckled, this keeps the coat tight up against my shoulders and snug down here. So that way when I mount the gun, I don't have a lot of movement going on with the coat sliding around. So sitting, just the top buckle. In the prone position, I still want to snug this across my shoulders. So I will do the top buckle, but I also want a little bit more snugness, a little, little further down across my chest. So that's why I'll do the second buckle as well. This way, I've got it snug across my rib cage as well as my shoulders. One of the problems I do have with prone, though, is when I do get in a position with the top two buckles buckled, I sometimes get this kind of looseness here in my shoulder. But I don't worry about that too much because when I put the rifle down, the rifle tends, tends to kind of pull this down.
So in prone, the top two buckles. Sitting, top buckle. And in standing, all buckles. Good luck and good shooting.